No Shave November is a time that men can get away from what binds us in society and just let our manly facial hair grow. I first heard about No Shave November my freshman year of high school. No Shave November to me is an excuse for a bunch of guys to be lazy and to let themselves go. No Shave November is during the month of November and it's basically when you don't shave for the entire month of November. I've heard a lot of people say it's for prostate cancer but uh, that's uh, Movember or Mustache November. Uh, so I guess uh, this is just taking that association. No Shave November started out as Movember, where men would uh, only grow out their mustaches to raise awareness for prostate cancer. I guess it kind of evolved into men growing out their beards. And uh, it's for prostate cancer awareness, and there are some organizations that, uh, that raise money. But as far as I know, a lot of guys just do it just to grow a beard. I'm pretty much doing it because I'll jump on any bullshit bandwagon I can find. I don't think it really accomplishes anything because, like, apparently you can, it's a awareness for prostate cancer, but, I mean, I can't grow a decent beard, so does that mean I can't help fight prostate cancer? I don't think that's fair. Uh, well, when I usually have a beard, I just recently got rid of it, I really like it because all I have to do is, like, trim around it, you know, I don't have to go right down to the skin and get all those ingrown hairs, razor burn, you know, you're at risk for that. I mean, whenever I have a beard, I'm definitely much warmer, especially in the cooler time of the year. First uh, had a uh, facial hair when I was about 15. Um, and then I did it probably for pretty lame reasons. Um, uh, I think I did it probably because I thought it looked cool. Uh, I looked tough, um, looked older, so for all of those reasons I think is why, why I initially did it if I'm being honest. It doesn't make me feel more like a man, but it makes me look more like a man. I guess I feel, no I don't feel any more like a man. I read somewhere that it actually boosts testosterone, so I definitely feel like more manly. You know, when you go to the gym and you're looking at all the people who are, you know, cleanly shaven and you just got this you know, beard growing, it just, it shows a boost boss. Uh, I definitely feel more like a man. And I know ladies, most of the time, they don't really appreciate the beard, but I know the beard's making a comeback, and uh, I think ladies are starting to understand that if you have a beard, you're definitely a man. So any significant alteration in the way that we look can pose some psychological, can have some psychological consequences, I think, on how we behave. My boss treats me more like a man. He uh, complimented me. Even though my beard isn't at its full potential yet, he said that I was on the right track. So there's a sense in which, you know, maybe some respect might come with it. Um, a little bit of authority can come with it, I suppose. I've gotten some compliments on it, and I figure the people who don't like it just don't tell me. And there's a whole lot of people that don't. After 9-11, every time I traveled for a number of years, I was on the... Uh, Every single time I was randomly selected to have all my stuff searched and uh, be patted down every time and it was ran supposedly random. So I think definitely different treatment and that's going to depend, like I said, on the thickness of the beard, the length of the beard, the shape of the beard, things like that. I do not think a beard makes you a real man. I think what's inside the heart is what makes a true man. It doesn't matter what's all this and stuff like that. Um, I think the beard plays a huge role in it because not every person can grow a beard. Um, but I also think that being a man, um, is, or having the beard is only part of being a man because being a man also comes from your heart. I guess it's what you do that makes you feel like a man and not, not what you look like. So some people will, will say things like right, masculinity and femininity, these are sort of socially constructed concepts and they, they really just have to do with the sort of culture or society that we're embedded in. So masculinity would look radically different 
in a different society or culture. I think there's probably some truth to that, but it's not the whole truth. My favorite man of all time is, is Theodore Roosevelt. And he did things that no other human being has ever done. Um, so I look to him for the example of what a real manly man is. To me, uh, being a real man is being as close to our loving idol as we can, uh, Paul Bunyan. Basically, his beard was so intense that he was able to pull a bull and make the Grand Canyon. Not many men can say that they've done that in their lifetime. I think all it takes to be a real man is a beard. Just the beard. You know, people say that it's no shave November, but uh, I really like don't shave December, or just ignore it January, or forget about it February. The list just goes on.